Weird World. Welcome to our first Anthem video. It's gonna be a short one, so pay attention. A pretty good while ago, Bioware introduced a new game, Anthem of course, and it looks a lot like The Division and Destiny in its design. It's a shared world action RPG. You and your friends are freelancers, the ones that dare to go beyond the wall and protect. All against the danger out there. But you don't do this in your regular clothes. You do this in a javelin. A javelin is an exosuit that enhances your abilities in the sense that you can now run, fly, leap and climb throughout the open world. There are multiple types of javelins, each with a unique arsenal of weapons and abilities. They can each be custom free with gear or through the crafting system that they've implemented to increase the effectivity against your enemies, of course. In an E3 interview, uh, one of the developers said that there will be seven different types of these javelins. So far we've only seen three with the gameplay demo since a lot of the gameplay hasn't been released. The first javelin we got to see is the Ranger. The Ranger is a versatile and all-purpose javelin that's suitable for various tasks. It kind of goes with the saying Jack of all trades, master of none. It's medium-sized and comes with a missile launcher that fires a barrage of rockets that can lock onto multiple targets. And next to this it also looks like it has a dive attack. And these most likely can be changed with the customer, but these give you a general idea about their abilities. The second javelin we saw is the Colossus. The Colossus is a heavy tank-like suit that's much bulkier than the common ranger. Uh, it's large and it comes with a shoulder mounted mortar that causes incredibly massive explosions and it seems to uh, have a ground pound attack as well, like a ground slam. And the third and final javelin we saw is the Conjectural. The Conjectural is a mage-like caster javelin that seems more nimble than the other javelins. It's quite small in comparison to the others, but it's able to fly or hover and cause different type of elemental attacks. So for example, we've seen fire, electricity and ice. In the gameplay demo, another javelin showed up, but it looks to be another ranger. This means that there are four more javelins to be confirmed. We'll have to wait and see. Before we end the video, as we said, it was a short one. We want to ask you, what would your javelin of choice be? Personally, I have to stick with the Ranger. I always love the Jack of uh, All Trades kind of characters, though I also like the Conjectural. Anyways, for now, thank you for watching. Consider leaving a rating, a like or a dislike, it's up to you. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style and commentary. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell to have instant pop-ups when we upload. And if you have any questions, want to share your ideas or if you simply want to start a discussion, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thank you for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good.